Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking my new Zhiyun Smooth Q gimbal, cell phone gimbal, out for a bike ride. I'm going to do a tour around the uh, RV park. And I just wanted to show you the setup that I'm going to be using to film this, film this bike tour. So first off, I just have my uh, Zhiyun Smooth Q gimbal with a GoPro adapter and my GoPro Hero 4. Also, I it plugged into the uh, GoPro, I have my lavalier microphone and it's just clipped onto the cord and just kind of hang in there. I do have a kind of a little tie wrap here to hold it so it doesn't dangle, but that's what I'll be using to film t with today. And if that audio comes out terrible because of wind noise, I'm also going to be recording backup audio on my cell phone with another lavalier microphone that's going to be tucked under my collar. So we'll see which one works out to be the best. Let's go for a ride. Well, as it turns out, both microphones, the one on the GoPro and the one that I had pinned to my shirt were both way too sensitive to the wind with just the stock foam wind muffs that they came with. So there's Selena. She went along with me for this ride. Is I'm going to end up uh, having to get myself some of those dead cat wind muffs for my microphones if I'm going to do this in the future. But for now, we'll just do a voiceover and see how it goes. So here we are coming up to the end of our street. And it was pretty windy. However, it was about 80 degrees, which was really nice out. Just kind of showing you what it's like on one of the streets in the park here. And as you can see, there's a lot of houses and they're pretty close together. All you have is room for one or two cars. It's kind of unusual to be wide enough for two. Some of these have some extensions built on their awnings so they can park side by side. And others don't. Neither our model or my parents' model has the extended section. Just off to the left here we have the down those steps over there is a horseshoe and a bocce ball court. And then right here on the left on the other side of Selena is the dog park. Pretty nice place there where people can take their pets inside that gated area. Little toys for the dogs to play on and so forth. Then back over there on the other side of Selena where those all the lights are and the green fences is the pickleball courts. I think they have six or seven courts which are kind of small they're not tennis courts, but they're similar. We've got a driving range where you can come down here and hit golf balls if you want to into those nets there. And they supply the golf clubs and the golf balls. All you have to do is walk down there and hit golf balls all day long if you want to. On the left side, this is the dog walk area, that gravel section there. And then there's a perimeter fence this is on the back side of the park. Beyond the fence is a big wash, just a natural wash where, of course, rainwater and runoff all goes down in there. It's kind of pretty down in there, even though it's just desert, but we've seen coyotes and uh, javelinas down in there, road runners, lots of rabbits. So as you can see, this row of houses is right across the street from the dog park. Little look at the machine I'm riding. My parents had a bike in their shed when they bought their place, so they let me borrow it for the ride around the park. They don't ride the bike, so they let me use it whenever I want to, which is really nice. Here we're going to veer off to the left and continue to follow the perimeter of the park and uh, straight up ahead if I get the camera leveled up just still trying to get used to this gimbal straight up ahead is just RV parking or overflow parking 
it's not free, but if you have an RV or another vehicle or some people park their uh, 4x4s, ATVs and stuff in there, utility trailers and that sort of thing. I don't know what the what the rent is on that, but it's not free. And then as we pass this little street on the left, that's the beginning of the short-term parking. So if you're coming through here in a RV or something, you can rent those spots on a daily time frame. Sometimes they're packed full and sometimes it's almost completely empty. It just depends on the time of the year. Straight ahead is all of the dumpsters and recycling bins for the park. There's a place there where you can wash your vehicle or your RV. There's a garden hose and stuff they have hooked up there. And the row on the left is the south side of the park. There's a lot of nice park models on this row. I think it's kind of a primo location because they don't have any houses behind them. They just have a fence. Put some real nice park models in there. Most of them have Arizona rooms, which is just an additional room on the park model that, oh, you can almost double the square footage with an Arizona room. Again, neither one of our, our units have Arizona rooms. So now I'm just holding the Zayun or Jiyun um, gimbal down just to just to test it out and kind of see what it's capable of. But so far it's, it's holding the, the picture pretty steady. It's pretty nice. I like it. Seems to work real well even with the, the modified GoPro adapter. It is originally designed for smartphones, as I keep telling you guys, you know that. But I'm using it at the moment for a GoPro. I will be trying it out with my smartphone at some point. So I flipped the camera around just to see if I could do that while I was riding the bike, and it seemed to be working okay. Chit-chatting away at the camera and the windy audio. <laughs> But it's pretty steady. Flips right back around real nice and easy. Got to click a button three times and it'll spin back around. There's a bunch of water here on the on the street. If we get a little bit farther up the street, you'll see somebody's doing they're doing some form of maintenance or something. Somebody's got a bunch of water coming out of a hose from the back of their house there. Beautiful day though. Good day for a ride through the park. We were talking about that one over there. It's for sale. You'll see them for sale quite often through this park. Probably fairly common. Here's some more RV spots. Some real nice RVs in there. A couple of fancy Class A's. Lots of golf carts in the park. Here's that construction zone where they're working on something back there. A water line or something behind that behind that trailer. Quite a few people out and about today because the weather is so nice. A bit breezy but really nice though. No complaints. I'm not going to complain about 80 degrees except that it might be a bit warm. A couple of smaller RVs here on this section on the right. Another one for sale. That row on the left side is the front of the park. Just on the, just beyond those is a fairly main street. So I don't think I would really want to be on one of those. They have a fence behind it, like an adobe fence, but you probably get a lot of road noise in those particular models there. Another one for sale. This gimbal seems to have a real nice smooth pan, which is really a good feature. I guess they all are, more or less. There's the front gate and the guard shack as you come into the park. We decided to turn right, so we'd go right down the main road here. Yes, that sign said 14 and a half for the speed limit. <laughs> Just kind of a joke in the park. Trying to be 
be humorous. They just want you to watch your speed. I mean, it's all common sense, basically. But you'd be surprised. People buzz around this park on their golf carts, and I'm sure they're doing more than the 14 and a half, but it's up to them. Big central four-way or five-way stop here. All these roads converge. And straight ahead, actually it's off to the right now, is the, the main tiki area. There's a huge Segorio cactus I was looking at there, and another big one up here on the right. But there's the tiki, and that's where you get your mail and all the facilities, lots of things going on in there. I'll do a walkthrough tour of that hopefully here in the next few videos, give you a good tour of that. Here's some more vehicles in the parking lot of the tiki and uh, lots of golf carts. Here's our street. Some more lower action testing out on the gimbal. Seems to do that quite well. Cruising down the main street. Not the main street, down our street. Another one for sale right there. Now on the left, there's my parents' place, and right next to them is the Ford Transit Connect van in our spot. So thanks for riding along, guys. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.